Well, as we continue our coverage this evening, the Shrine Circus has brought family fun to Sioux City for seven decades, and it's back. KTV's Ellen Ide stopped by the Tyson Event Center today to take us under the big top. Come one, come all. The Abu Bakr Shrine Circus is back in town. Workers spent the day hanging lights and stocking concessions for opening night on Wednesday. We're going to have elephants. We're going to have, of course, camels. We got the BMX bikes that are going to do a bunch of tricks. We got the, uh, I think it's called the Sphere of Death, if I'm not mistaken. It takes months of hard work for this event to come together. Nobles and ladies of the Abu Bakr Shrine got to work in November, organizing contracts and even making sure there's enough cotton candy to last the weekend. The circus has been in Sioux City for more than 70 years, and for many families, it's become an annual tradition. Well, I came as a kid. <laughs> Everybody comes, you know, and every year it's always there's something different. Some things have, there's a few things that might be the same, but most of the time it's always something different. It's, it's just a fun time to come down and have some fun and enjoy yourself. Organizers also make sure the event is affordable for families to enjoy. To me, that's just, that's what it's all about is the kids. The parents and then a lot of the um, grandparents that come to take their kids, they get about just as excited to see their kids' reaction. But um, it is just really a fantastic event that uh, I think really benefits Sioux City, Iowa, and it uh, is great for the whole community. In Sioux City, Ellen Ide, KTIV News 4. And as I mentioned, tomorrow is opening night and our very own Katie Koppel will be kicking off the event as the honorary ringmaster. And of course, for information on the five-day run of the Abu Bekker Shrine Circus, you can check out this story on KTIV.com.